go. All right, robots on the move. All six robots working their way off the hab. During the sandstorm, when the drivers can't see unless they have cameras on their robot, trying to place hatch covers and cargo in the cargo ship. All right, here we go. The sandstorm is over. Shockwave, with that turret, that spinning top, is able to place that wherever they want and does on their cargo ship. While 4057, one of their partners, has a hatch panel as well to place it on the front of their ship. Shockwave continues to load up the cargo ship with cargo. 4043 on the blue side, able to get their hatch panel put on the front of their cargo ship and both their partners placing cargo in the front of their cargo ship. Forty forty three quickly grabs another hatch panel, places it on the rocket. Twenty eight eleven has cargo. Fifty four fifty has cargo to place in the front of their cargo ship and does. That blue cargo ship is full. Now Red's working on its cargo ship. 4488 Shockwave comes over to grab some more cargo. It's pretty close, 11 points between the two teams. 30 seconds to go. Shockwave lines up, moves that turret, and drops it in. 30 seconds left in the match. Teams will start thinking about heading back to their own hab. On the blue side, we've got 50, we got 2811 already on top. 5450 in the lower region. Shockwave up to the third level. Balances nicely. 4057 flips itself over to the second level. Nicely done. And that's the end of the match. All six robots on the hab. A close match. We'll let you know the score in just a minute. And here we go with the final score of that match. And it's a blue alliance. Seventy-four points, three ranking points. As we move on to qualification match number forty-nine. 